Hello healers and health seekers. It's me, Ichoda, healing with medical medium information for since 2016, <laughs> I have healed fibromyalgia, mast cell activation disorder, many EDS symptoms, PCOS, migraines, PTSD, depression, chronic fatigue syndrome, and a whole host of other symptoms and conditions, which if you want to know more about that, it's in the description box below. But today, today, I am here to talk about how details matter. They so matter. So the reason I want to talk about how the details matter and medical medium information is because it is just something that I sort of, I see out there. I see people not recognizing. And here's what brought it up. Here's what brought it up. There's somebody in the community who calls himself a health practitioner. He calls himself a medical medium health coach, which makes me crazy because there are no medical medium practitioners. You know, it's my personal pet peeve, but here's why. Medical medium is a trademark name. That means the only person who has legal right to use the name medical medium is Anthony William, the medical medium. Nobody else. Hi, Pendleton. Nobody else has the right to use the trademark name medical medium. He's never certified anybody. He's never um, ordained anybody. He's never trained anybody. And people going around calling themselves medical medium practitioners is a misrepresentation because it makes people think that they have some kind of training or special expertise that they couldn't have. And that is not the case. The expertise comes from reading these books, listening to him, Medical Medium in the Lives, listening to the podcasts on Apple Podcasts, listening to the radio shows. That's where the expertise comes from. It does not come from any kind of training or certification or ordainment or anything like that because Medical Medium doesn't do that. Oh, I love you too, baby. And there are plenty of wonderful practitioners who genuinely want to help people who are using the medical medium information to inform their practice, who are not calling themselves medical medium practitioners, who are just doing their thing and having their practice that they would have anyway because they genuinely want to help people and they are using his information with integrity and I totally support and respect that and think it's a great thing because that's what we want right like we want people to get the healing information we want people to have the information they need to heal and we want them to get it from the source and the practitioners who are using his information to inform their practice are most likely telling their clients you need to read these books like that's important read the books you know because of course sometimes we come in to the community, there's like seven books, there's uh, 19 podcasts, 19 podcasts, there's then plus all of the podcasts in the archives, and I don't know how many of those are, there's the Healing Path course on the Medical Media website, there's all the recipes, there's all this stuff, and yeah, there's like a million different ways you can, you know, do the protocols, thousands of ways you can do the protocols and use medical medium information. You can dabble in it and just use pieces of it here and there. And a lot of people do that, but they don't necessarily represent themselves that way. Um, a lot of, <laughs> hi sweetie, he's climbing into my arms. A lot of people do dabble and, and they, <sighs> you look, it's fine if you want to dabble and go ahead it's like yeah great do that like use pieces of the information come into it slowly use the information little by little piece by piece and really help yourself you know in, institute the information and take it on and learn it just a little bit at a time you know so gradually you can implement things in a sustainable way i think that's great i really do um what I don't think is great when somebody calls themselves a medical medium health coach and insists that they are an expert in the medical medium information 
and the rest of us in the medical medium community who have been around for a while and have been watching you know people's instagrams and but we're watching all the medical medium information watching the lives and the podcasts listening to the podcasts reading the books like actually reading the books and applying the information and doing our best to like you know corroborate among ourselves cooperate coordinate i don't know the word i'm looking for there work together with each other to support each other there that's the word i'm looking for to you know to do the best for ourselves to help ourselves and our families impart the information and use the information when we can see that that person calling themselves a medical medium health coach is not using medical medium information <laughs> i love you too baby you're such a sweet boy. Okay. <laughs> he climbs up into my arms, gives me mad butts. And then this is how he lays. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to lay in your arms now. Okay. So, you know, it's like we can see from their account that they're not <laughs> really using the medical medium information. Um,. It's a lot of red flags because, first of all, A, you're using his name to represent yourself and saying, like, oh, I'm such an expert. And new people in the community don't know that you're not an expert, even though people who have been around a while do and can see that what you're doing. Because if you're dabbling and you're following medical medium, but you're also following, like, Dr. Sebi and Dr. Morse, and who all these other people, whatever, whoever, none of those are medical medium information. And um, uh, one of them I know has like a bunch of alcohol tinctures. The other one is just selling supplements and like has some stuff, you know, that's valuable, but it's not all the way. It's like you, you've got pieces of it, but you don't have the whole truth. You don't have the whole picture. So when you're following like all these other people, all these other health gurus, but then saying, oh, but it's medical medium information. No, it isn't. It's not medical medium information when you're following a bunch of other people. It's just you're dabbling in medical medium and you're dabbling in some other things too and you're mixing and matching and picking and choosing what you want to pay attention to but that's not medical medium information. So really do not call yourself a medical medium health coach and don't lie to people because that's ultimately what you're doing is deceiving people and making them think that you have some knowledge that you don't have because it's very obvious to the rest of us that you have not, in fact, been reading the books. You maybe read the one of the books once, but it doesn't seem like you've gone back and it doesn't seem like you've read Cleanse to Heal at all. So here's the thing. This person has been telling his clients who pay him money to tell them this, that when they are sensitive that they should be eating a lot of beans and grains and not eating the healing fruits and leafy greens and vegetables and not drinking celery juice and he's telling him to eat beans and grains and fat and do you know what that's going to do to a sensitive person who does not have the hydrochloric acid to digest beans and grains and fat it is going to tear them up and it is not going to help their healing at all maybe people feel a little better when they're eating fats because it does take adrenaline to digest fat and adrenaline can have that steroid effect that makes them think that they're feeling better but in the long run it is really just tearing them up and the adrenaline is feeding the pathogens and it's going to long term make things way worse and beans are really hard to digest for even people who have strong hydrochloric acid. <sighs> really hard to digest. So telling people to eat beans when they're sensitive is crazy to me because people who have sensitive nervous systems and people who really are genuinely sensitive, 
there is medical medium cleanses for that. There, the mono cleanse is specifically for people who are sensitive. If they have digestive issues, low hydrochloric acid, if they have gastritis, gastroparesis, if they have really sensitive nerves or a lot of stomach pain or any kind of like, any kind of stomach issues or digestive problems. If you have a lot of food sensitivities and allergies and things like that, the mono cleanses are fantastic for that. That is medical medium information. And that includes a lot of healing foods that are very gentle on the digestive system that give the digestive system a break so that the body can, instead of expending any energy digesting, can go to healing your body. And that is the medical immediate information. Don't take it from me. Read the Cleanse to Heal book and see for yourself. He talks about it in there. This is one of the things, like the details matter. So you can't call yourself somebody who's using medical medium information when you're sitting there saying like, oh, like you're really clearly just dabbling and you're, you know, kind of spinning out because you're telling other people, like it's, here's the thing, whatever anybody wants to do in their own life, I'm fine with. If you want to dabble, dabble. That is your prerogative. You have free will. That's wonderful. But when you are using the medical medium name, which is illegal, and misleading people, you are harming other people who are already tortured by the medical system, who have already been betrayed over and over and over again, who have lost trust, who have been beaten down, who have been taken advantage of over and over again. And it's not okay. Because when people finally get to the medical medium information, they've usually been through all of that and they have been betrayed so many times. Their trust has been so beaten down. They have been so misled in so many different ways. They have tried everything. They have tried this diet and that diet and this supplement and that supplement and this medication and that medication and, you know, this trendy trap and that trendy trap, apple cider vinegar, collagen, you know, fermented foods and kombucha and all the things. They've tried everything, probiotics and bone broth and all of it. And they have been lied to by so many people. So when they come into this community and they're asking for help, I say it's predatory to be somebody who dabbles in other things and then uses the medical medium name because that hashtag is like, you know, gets you vision, gets you seen or whatever. Like, I think it's not okay. Like I'm building my account. That's all about me, me, me. And how can I make money? Oh, I'm going to make money off of these people. Oh, these sick and struggling people who have been betrayed over and over again. These people who are desperate for answers. These people who have finally found the information that he gives away for free. And all you have to do is buy a book. Like that's it. You don't even have to buy a book. You can get it from the library. Like this man has busted his butt. Anthony William has busted his butt for over 35 years for his whole life since age four. He has been breaking his back. I mean, I think he was a teenager or even older when he really started like fully committing and going forward and practicing and everything. But he has been breaking his back to get this information out to the world in every way possible for in the least expensive way possible. He does not have programs. He does not train practitioners. He does not have like thousand dollar programs or do retreats or, you know, bundle everything up and put it behind a paywall. Everything he tries to do, he tries to just get it out there for free. And people want to then take that and use it to build up their own platform for their own personal games so, so they can build their egos and be the expert 
that everybody comes to for the information, but they don't have spirit of compassion in their ear giving them in the information. They're just human. We are all just human. Anybody out here in the community who is not named Anthony William, the medical medium, we are all just hopefully, hopefully getting our information from these books and not just one of them, hopefully reading all of these books, hopefully, you know, listening to all the podcasts, hopefully, listening to his lives, but a lot of people, you know, like, but we're human and we have human memories and we are fallible and we can get things wrong. So wrong. I've been misled by practitioners in the beginning of my journey when I really just was so desperate for answers and I wanted to heal and I just wanted to know as much as I could. And I thought, Oh, Oh, this person is, you know, people are saying this person is like, Oh, looks great. And his right hand man and all this stuff. And Oh, the chosen one and blah, blah, blah. It's just like, almost like just having Anthony. Oh, and it's like, no, they're not. That's not true. Actually. Nobody is that nobody ever has been. It's just him. He is an island of himself. Like medical medium is the only one that has information coming from spirit of compassion. He doesn't have a right hand man. He doesn't have his chosen practitioners. He doesn't have people that he has lauded as the, the chosen ones. He doesn't have that because nobody is the source of the information, but spirit of compassion and nobody is the source of the information, but these books and the podcasts and the information that Anthony William medical medium puts out. Nobody else is. Yeah. People can read the books and like know a lot of it themselves. And of course, you know, but I am so leery and look, I would, I would advise you to be too, but you can make your own choices and your own decisions and you have your discernment and you know what? You don't have to listen to me and it's fine. But I personally am super leery of anyone who calls themselves a medical medium practitioner because a trademark name that's illegal and B who told you, you could say that like nobody, they're just appointing themselves. I'm an expert. I'm leery of anybody who thinks of themselves as the expert when he's the expert. Anthony William medical medium is the expert. We are all students. <laughs> We're students. I think the minute we think we know all the information, we think we know everything and we don't have anything else to learn. Like I hear people telling me like, Oh, it's the same stuff. He said the same thing. And I'm like, no, he didn't. It wasn't the same. We're, what were you listening to? Cause we are not looking at the same thing. We're not hearing the same thing. We're not reading the same books because like, for example, for example, the first book, medical medium secrets behind chronic and mystery illness and how to finally heal. The seventh book, medical medium secrets behind chronic and mystery illness and how to finally heal revised and expanded edition. I've had people say to me, I don't see a difference. Really? I don't think you're reading the book. This book is totally different than this book. Yes, this book does contain the information that this book contains, but if you want to match it word to word, look at the size, <laughs> look at the size difference. Look, the fonts are the same size. I don't know if you can see that. The fonts are pretty much the same size, which means that this book has a heck of a lot more information than this book. And yep, there's some of the basics are there. Like there is a lot of same basic stuff that is in this book is in here. So you could start here and you're not going to be missing anything. Some, a little bit of stuff has changed. Like for example, the spirulina he recommends is a different one now because 2016, when this was published, this kind of spirulina that was available was okay. And that's what he recommended, but it has become contaminated. And so he changed it in here. In this book, he has added 
six new angels. He has added information about every single angel. He has added to the meditations from the first book. He has added all the information about the plague in this book that was not in the first book. He has added to every single chapter. I read this book. I've read the first book multiple times. I've read this book multiple times. They are two different books. They're not the same. And when people say it's all just the same, I'm just like, I don't think you're reading the books. <laughs> I don't think you're really, really reading, like really, really comparing, really, really. But here's the thing. That's not a criticism, that's fine. It's okay if that's where people are, like I get it. It's overwhelming. But it's kind of like when you've been in it a long time and you've immersed yourself with it and you get to know it more and more and more, you start to see all the layers. You start to see all the subtle things that are like really a big deal. That stuff starts to stand out to you more. You start to see the details more and more clearly and why they matter. It matters. The revised version of this book matters. If he did a revised version of every single book, I would buy every single one of them because I know they're going to have so much more information in them and that it's going to matter. Like I would be ecstatic about that. I like all of any book <laughs> that he wants to put out that I think, okay, well, Spirit of Compassion is telling him this is important. It's important for a reason and I'm going to listen. I'm going to perk up and be like, what's different? And what is, what should I be paying attention to? And I think it helps because mm. I think it helps that um so i have the books in every format right and i use them to refer to all the time i use them every single day i have another set that's out by my desk i'm not even kidding i have another set of these books that's out on my desk uh, those are the hard copies i have them all on kindle i have them all on audiobook all the ones that are on audiobook and while i'm puttering around in my kitchen and doing all my food routines and stuff, I will listen to the audiobooks sometimes or the podcasts or the lives or whatever, you know, the old older podcasts that he did. And I will happily, I love listening to all the audios like that. And I'll use the Kindle if I'm like at my computer or something or on my phone and I need to look up something and real quick, like where is this and what book? If I need to, or if I'm answering a question for somebody and they're like, where's this information? And I'm like, oh, it's in this book. You can read this book for that. But the hard bad books are, I mean, that's the stuff. Like going through them and reading them. And like when I get a chance, it's a big, it's a big deal. And if the grid goes down, mm, I got those books. So the details matter because knowing how, if you're going to, if you're going to be somebody who wants to like, of course, honestly, when we heal, I feel like, why wouldn't we want to help other people heal? Because that's what I want. That's all I want. I just want people to know that they can heal. It's super important to me. And I love to see when I'm looking in his comments and stuff. I love to see other people in the community who I know have been around a long time and understand the information. I love to see them like answering the questions for people and sort of helping point them to, you know, where they can be going to get the answers. And there's birds outside my window. So if you see my eyes darting anywhere in that direction, <laughs> it's the birds because there's blue jays out there. And uh, I just saw a blue jay and a chickadee and they're like cardinals and finches and they're all flying around and eating the food that I put out there for them. So, so the thing, I love to see people answer questions. I think we should. I think that's the whole point. It's like we heal, we share our healing stories with the world. That's the great thing about social media is that we can get on social media. We can share our healing stories. We can support each other because I've met so many amazing people in this community and I have gotten so much great support and I have been able to give so much great support and it gives me joy and it fills me up and it makes me feel like I have purpose and I love it. And yes, like I want that for people. I want 
that ripple effect. I want us to all be doing that. I think it's fantastic if it, however many people are doing that. But just the whole thing, like there's a difference between really helping people to help people and not making about you <laughs> and then making it about you and making it about your ego and building your pro profile and your platform and and making money off of people and stuff like that and I get it people have to make a living but I think there are ethical ways to make a living that don't involve taking advantage of people and stealing somebody else's trademark name which is illegal because <laughs> if you're trying to make money off of somebody else's trademark name Oh, that's so illegal. It's so illegal. It's not even like, are you, what, how do you not know this law at this point? It's, it drives me nuts. So anyway, I just, I just get, I get fiercely protective. I'm fiercely protective of medical medium because he is the person who is solely responsible. Like David and Goliath. No kidding. He is David against the, all the Goliaths. There's not just one Goliath in this scenario, in this planet, in this planet of evil industries. He is one little David against all of the Goliaths of all of the evil industries who are all going against him and all want his information suppressed and down and yet want to keep him alive because they need him too. <laughs> they want to keep him alive for themselves, but they want to suppress all the information because the rest of us, they're like, no, we got to keep all the peons down. We got to keep them down because they are who, you know, serves our pocketbooks and who serves our need for power and control. And he has been battling this, all of these Goliaths for 35 plus years, single handedly, like like a tsunami of Goliaths just coming at him, death by a thousand cuts all the time, all the time going at him, sending thousands and thousands of bots and clones and trolls to go to his account and attack him and attack us and attack the chronically ill and, you know, prey on the community and try to push their products on the community. Little sharks in the community who are trying to like make a name for themselves and push their products and a lot of them, a lot of the little sharks have healed using the medical medium information and then they turn around and they wipe their accounts and they change everything on their account because they want to sell something. And then they pretend the something that they just started playing with is what healed them. Even though for three years or two years or however long or four years sometimes they've been healing with medical medium information only. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, it was this ionizer water machine. Oh, it was this fulvic acid. Oh, it was this earthing mat. Oh, it was this like bullshit. It was just some bull crap. You know, it's like, whatever. It's none of those are true. <laughs> people lie all the time. They want to sell their supplements. They want to sell their whatever. And you know why people all the time go and get into the Dr. Morse or whatever is because he sells a program. He's got a big program that's like thousands of dollars and you can get certified and then you can sell his supplements in this MLM thing where his alcohol filled supplements where, and then, so it's something you can sell. Medical medium doesn't have anything you can sell. There's no way to like, for real, le like legit make money off of him, you know, not in any ethical way. So he's not, he's not selling any merch. He's not selling any products. He's not, he's not selling supplements. He's not selling programs. He's not, certifying people he's not he doesn't have any mlm scheme going on he's not creating tribes and putting his information behind a paywall he's not creating some sense of like uh fear of missing out or anything like that or like using fear to sell anything like he's not doing any of that but everybody else out there is people take his information and they do that and they do that themselves but he doesn't do it and it's not how he, and he says, that's not how the information was meant to be used. That's why he doesn't do it. It's not how it was meant to be used. I respect that. And in fact, because I, like, I see how hard, I mean, I don't even have, 
I know, like I don't even have a sense of it, really. I have a little glimpse of how hard it must be to be that David against all of those Goliaths. And then even people in your own, supposedly, so who are supposed to be on your own team, in your own community, I mean, you know, working for good, turning on you in this way, stealing from you, like pilfering your work, taking it, putting it behind paywalls because they want to be the ones like, oh, I'm the, look, I'm the expert, you know? No, just what must that be like for him? And so I feel so fiercely protective of him. And I feel so fiercely protective of the chronically ill community because those are my people, you know? That's my community. <laughs> These are the people who have been beaten down and taken advantage of and who have lost their health and lost everything and had to fight and claw their way back and have just hit after hit after hit and have suffered and suffered and suffered and then everybody takes advantage. Everybody takes all their money. Everybody takes all your everything. You get stranded on an island of yourself. All your friends leave, your family leaves, people just get sick of you. Oh, why don't you just heal already? It's like, it doesn't work that way because I didn't, because I've tried everything. And they finally find medical medium and they finally come into this community and they think, and they finally are starting to build back a little bit of trust because they're seeing the results that people get and that people really do heal. And they're thinking, okay, maybe there is hope. Maybe I can trust again. Maybe there's a way and, oh, look, there's experts. Oh, there's experts. Okay, this person can help me. An expert. Oh, like my search is over. You know, this person can help me. I, they can help me start. It's an expert. An expert means he, they got certified, like medical medium ordained them. Oh, he talks to them. Like, and they then they think, oh, maybe this person, this person. And then, you know, do they help them really? Like, do they? I don't know. Not if they're telling them to eat beans and fats and grains. And quite frankly, anyone, I think anyone that is calling themselves a medical medium practitioner, I think they're in it for themselves. That's what I think. I don't think... Like, maybe they are kind of helping people. Maybe they are. I don't know. But the person I'm thinking of, for sure, isn't. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not going to help anybody to tell them to eat beans and fats and grains, especially when they're sensitive. If they're sensitive, they need to, if they want to heal, this is the way. The mono eating cleanse and the cleanse to heal book, you know or any of the medical medium cleanses, but you want healing foods to heal. You're not gonna be able to actually detox with fats and it's not always detox, because that's another thing. It's not always detox, which I just did a video about that. Because it's not, because that same person is telling everybody it's detox, it's not detox. You're viral. Yeah, sometimes things do get worse before they get better when you start the medical medium information. You want to know why? You're viral. You're viral. They get worse because it was coming anyway. The medical medium information is mitigating some of the damage because it was going to be a lot worse. A lot worse. So don't, you can't blame the medical medium information because the timing because it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like oh i've eaten an apple now everything should stop no the train was coming it was barreling down the track it was already coming the viral train was coming down the track it's gonna hit it's gonna hit it's gonna come so you better get those sandbags built up to mitigate the damage that that train does you better do whatever you can because you've been doing all the wrong things for how many years have you been alive? All the wrong things. High fat diets, apple cider vinegar, coffee, matcha tea, chocolate, uh, gluten, dairy, soy, corn, canola oil, pork, just tons of fat, tons of animal protein, tank in the coconut oil, tank in the kombucha, fermented foods, like all that stuff. And that's not even to mention like all the processed foods 
And then all the toxins. What do we got? Air fresheners, scented colognes, scented candles, I mean, colognes, perfumes, um, incense, laundry detergents, heavy metals and everything, pesticides, fungicides, herbicides, nanotechnology, heavy metals on everything, plastics, radiation, you know, chemicals everywhere. It's, it's like there's a lot of toxins coming at us. And there's a lot of pathogens circulating in our environment. Man-made. Man-made. Circulating in our environment. Got out there somehow. Got put into the population intentionally somehow. And so they're out there, right? They're out there. We got to protect ourselves. But we can't expect... Everything we've already had going on, all the pathogens in our liver and everything we've already had built up to suddenly just halt just because we started eating some healing food. No, it takes time. The body has to rebuild itself. The body has to first clear out all the crap so that it can start even focusing on rebuilding itself. It has to Deal with all the stuff that's been put in it for how many decades have you been alive before you finally found this information? So you got to give it some time to do what it needs to do and you got to trust that your body can do that. But that's in the details. That's in here and the details matter. It matters so much. But your body's not going to be able to do that if it's still like struggling and with, you know, extra toxins and pathogens and stuff that you're throwing at it. Not that we throw pathogens, but we throw toxins and stuff and we, and we do expose ourselves to pathogens. And yeah, step by step, we can little by little, like institute the information into our lives in a sustainable way and add it like a bit at a time. Or some people go all in all at once, which is amazing to me. That blows my mind that people can do that. I did not do that. It took me a while. It took me a while to like finally realize like fats are an issue. Like even though I had lowered, lowered, lowered the fats, I was still eating fats every day. It's like, oh, it took me time to realize like, oh, I need to take this out, like all the way out from for my healing to so I can take it to the next level because there's, you know, we can institute certain things, but there's always more we can do. There's always more we can do. And I went all in on medical medium information from the beginning. However, that does not mean I got it all right from the beginning. And it, I don't even pretend that I get it all right now. I'm not going to pretend that. Because maybe I, I don't know, there's more I can be doing. I know, I know right now there's more I can be doing. And I know that I don't 100% do every single thing that, you know, I could be doing. Now, yes. I don't ever eat no foods and I haven't since I realized. So it was like a year in when I finally realized that the sushi I was eating had farmed salmon and not wild caught salmon because the restaurants I would eat at said wild caught salmon or wild caught fish. And I thought that was true, but they lie. In the United States, you can't have wild caught salmon. It's illegal in the restaurants. You can't serve it as sushi. You can have it cooked, but you can't serve it as sushi. That's a whole weird thing. It has to do with parasites or something. I don't, it's whatever. So I didn't know that, which means I was eating the sushi, which means I was also eating vinegar and I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think it was an issue. I didn't know. So it's like, you know better, you do better, right? So I learned and as I learned, I would take, I was like, oh, not that. And I would just more and more healing foods. And I built it up. I built it up over time. More and more healing foods. More and more raw. Take out the salt. Take out the overt fat. I took it out. You know, it's just, it's a process. It takes time for some of us. For some of us. Some of us can't just whoosh, cleanse to heal. 369 cleanse for a year. Whatever. Like, I am amazed at anyone who does that. Like, I think it's fantastic and wonderful. And it's one way to start. It's one way to start. So the details matter. The details are in these books, you know, and that it's so important to refer to the information always. 
even if you do find a practitioner that you're like, hey, this person's really a good practitioner and they really want to help people heal and they happen to be using the medical medium information in their practice, like I think I'm gonna see if they can maybe really kind of help point me in the direction so that I can feel calm about it and not so overwhelmed and then just start and go. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna read these books and I'm gonna learn the information so that eventually I can just figure it out myself because I'll know it. And then if I do have the occasional question here and there, there's people in the community I can just be like, hey, what about this? Like, do you, would you think this or whatever, you know? Cause like, let's support each other, right? I do want to say another thing about practitioners that comes to mind. Uh, it's not really even about practitioners. What it's about is we are trained from birth, like trained, indoctrinated to believe that the answers lie in authority out there. And authority, by the way, is the industries, right? The medical industry, the schools, the doctors, the teachers, right? Authorities. Because think about it, like when we're little, we're in school, you have to raise your hand to go to the bathroom. That is a bodily need. You don't get to eat unless they say you can eat. You don't get to drink until they say you can drink. It doesn't matter how thirsty you are. It doesn't matter how hungry you are. Eating is at this time because that's the time we have designated for eating. It's to indoctrinate us to never trust our own selves or our own innate knowledge and wisdom of like even when we have to pee. I gotta pee. I gotta raise my hand. Do you know how many kids have peed themselves or pooped themselves in class because either they were afraid to raise their hand or the teacher didn't let them go? Do you know how humiliating that has been for every single child? What is that? It's messed up is what it is. It's like teaching us from a very young age that we don't know our own bodies, but they do. They know better than us. And it just goes from there. It just continues to go. You don't know anything about your health. Only the doctor who sees you for five minutes a year knows about your health. You don't understand why you have, you know, that you have aches and pains. It must be all in your head. You're crazy. You need to see another doctor so that they can tell you if what you're experiencing is real because you don't know. That's bullocks. but that that's how we've been trained to believe. So I understand <laughs> there's still some unlearning to do, right? And I'm not saying nobody ever should see a doctor. They have value. There's things they have training in that can be helpful, but just know the system you're going into, right? The weaponized system now. Know the system know what you can and can't use it for and use it like a tool, not like an authority. It's not God. None of these institutions are God. None of these systems are God. The pharmaceutical companies, they're not God. None of these companies are God. The medical system is not God. The teachers are not God. The doctors are not God. Science is not God. God is God. And we come from God. Again, it's just to say the details matter. It's okay to have a practitioner, but learn the details yourself because they are important. They're really important. And if it were me, I wouldn't trust anybody calling themselves a medical medium expert or a medical medium practitioner or using medical medium's name to promote or sell themselves. 
And what I mean is like using his name is legally like, like I'm a medical medium practitioner or these are medical medium approved recipes. No, they're not. Do you know who's the only person that has the legal right to say that these are medical medium approved recipes? I bet you can guess. It's Anthony William, the medical medium. <laughs> Nobody else. Nobody else. Sure, we can say, yeah, I'm healing with medical medium information. Of course we can. But using a trademark name illegally, mm, I, would, I would be suspect of anyone who's doing that. I really would. And... Um, Another thing I'm always suspect of, just speaking of things we're suspect of, <laughs> is somebody who says something like, okay, so remember, there's a ton of paid trolls who go, who are paid by these industries, the apple cider vinegar industry, the caffeine industry, the pharmaceutical industry, whatever industry he's threatening, which is all of them. Hundreds, not hundreds, there's probably thousands and maybe even millions of paid trolls who are paid to go at him and say all kinds of nonsense and pose even sometimes, I don't know, as somebody who's healed from his information, which, or not who's healed, but I'm sorry. I did his information to a T. And I haven't healed. Okay, I'm not saying everybody who says that is a troll. That's not what I mean. But what I am saying is there are paid trolls and always keep that in mind when you hear certain phrases. And one of them that always kind of puts up a million red flags for me is I did his information for, to a T and it did nothing. And I'm like, no, you didn't. Nobody is doing his information to a T. None of us are. <laughs> I don't think any of us are really, honestly. I don't think I am. I don't think anybody's doing his information to a T because there's always more we can do. And if there's always more than we can do, how are we doing all of the information perfectly already, right? Now, that's not to criticize anybody's process. Like I said, I'm included in this. I'm including all of us, not just certain people. But what it is to point to, I'm sorry, it's getting darker and darker in here. <laughs> like the, I'm watching the light disappear. Uh, but what it is to say is that when somebody says, I did his information to a T, it's always where he says, be your own detective. Are you, are you not progressing the way you want to progress? There's always more you can do. Be your own detective. Are you getting exposures? Are you being exposed to scented candles? colognes, perfumes, pesticides, fungicides, you know, plug and air fresheners, spray air fresheners. Are you getting exposed to more heavy metals somehow? Are you, you know, are fungicides coming in on your clothes? Did you go somewhere? Have you been exposed to a new pathogen? Have you had a new medical treatment? Have you had any new medical treatments? <laughs> Anything like this. So he'll say, be your own detective. Have you taken the fats out? Have you taken the salt out? Are you drinking kombucha? Are you eating fermented foods? Are you uh, having gluten or dairy or soy or canola oil? Like, so provided you've taken out all the no foods, are you still doing things like, you know, caffeine, chocolate, coffee, matcha tea? Are you still doing things like apple cider vinegar? Are you still having nutritional yeast? Are you having any kind of yeast? There's all these things that you can do to troubleshoot and you can be your own detective and figure out like, oh, maybe I am still doing something you know, are you dabbling? When you say you're doing medical medium information to a T, are you doing that, but then adding in other things by other health gurus or even other spiritual information and saying, oh, it's medical medium. Like I can heal with my thoughts, which he's never told anybody that they can do. This other person is also the, the, the beans and fat and, and grains person is also telling people that medical medium said you can heal with your thoughts, which he has never, ever said. In fact, quite the opposite. Medical medium says you cannot heal with only your thoughts. That is not a thing. You cannot. So I just, oh, the misinformation. Okay. So the misinformation that people who even are in the community are giving other people. It's like, just be very careful. If 
if somebody says something like that to you, oh, medical medium says you can heal with your thoughts. Say, oh, where did he say that? Can you show me in a book where he said that you can heal with your thoughts? Because the fact of the matter is he said the opposite of that. Oh, can you show me where in the book he said to eat more fats and eat beans and grains to slow down the detox? They can't because it's not in anything. They just made it up. They just made it up in their own head and it's not a thing. So anyway, so the reason I'm leery of anybody who says I did the information to a T is because like I said, like, I don't, nobody's doing that, you know? So it's like, mm, what did you really do though? Tell me what you really did. And then are you a real person? Because genuinely, if you're really using the information, that means, okay, when you say I did the information to a T, what that would mean to me is that you're doing the cleanses. You've gone low fat to no fat. In fact, no fat. I would say you've gone totally fat free. You're not eating salt. You're not eating any of the troublemaker foods, like any of them. And he lists all the troublemaker foods in the books. So you're not eating any of those. You're not eating any of the no foods. You are cleaning with like clean products. You're not um, like baking soda and vinegar, basically. You're not, um, you don't have any air fresheners or clones or perfumes in your house, like uh, scented candles, whatever, like scented anything. You're, you're keeping your space clean. It would be like so many levels that you're also like talking to the angels every day and you're doing the meditations and you're using the spiritual information and you've been revisiting the books and I cannot, I don't think I've met anyone that I know that is actually doing that, that isn't having results. Like somebody's people are having some results. It's like, it might not look. I think sometimes the problem lies in people thinking that they should heal like within a month of starting the information. And it's like, that's not how that works. That's not how healing works. How long did it take you to get this sick, this level of sick? Because most of us came into this planet compromised. All right. And here's another red flag that that reminds me of is when somebody says something like, Oh, I got all the heavy metals out. And so there, that means I can't be viral anymore. No, you didn't. You live on planet earth. There is no such thing as I got all the heavy metals out. We are exposed to heavy metals by breathing the air on this planet. We are exposed to heavy metals every single day in our soil, in our water, in our food, in everything we touch and everything we come in contact with. Everything is loaded with heavy metals. Our, the, our clothing is drenched in fungicides. Our packages are drenched in fungicides <laughs> that come to our door. Uh, it gets fumigated on our produce. It's everywhere. It's falling out of the sky. Where, what bubble are you in that you think you're not getting exposed? Because even the bubble is going to be made of plastic, which has heavy metals in it and also is made of plastic. Okay. You're not, there's no way you're not getting exposed to heavy metals on this planet. You did not get all the metals out. You have to keep drinking the heavy metal detox smoothie every day to keep the metals out. And then they'll come back in and then you get them back out and then they come back in and then you get them back out and then they come back in and then you get them back out. That's how it works. We are on planet darkness. Okay. This world is contaminated. <laughs> That's just how it is. That's why we have the tools to protect ourselves in the medical medium information. <laughs> you did not get the metals out and suddenly you're not viral. Oh, okay. So you never came in contact with another pathogen again. You've never ever been anywhere. Another human being has ever been. You've never <laughs> spoken in person to another human being. You never, you've never been in some place where there's like a toilet seat. You've never been in some place where somebody else has touched a door handle. Really? Okay. You're never going to get exposed to another pathogen again. Are you kidding me? Dude, you don't know the information. You don't know. You're this person is you're telling people <laughs> crazy. It's crazy stuff, man. And you know what makes crazy stuff go on in your brain? Heavy metals, heavy metals. So it's the heavy metals talking. You don't, you don't, 
you don't not get exposed to pathogens. Dude, this world right now is so loaded with pathogens and they're just releasing so many more. You've got to protect yourself. You the details matter. You got to be up in this information and like learning because it's also the time of the quickening. It's so important. So anyway, sorry for that little who tangent, but the thing is, it just makes me laugh, but also feel sad because this person's charging money to other people to tell them the same nonsense. Nobody has gotten all the heavy metals out and nobody is not affected by pathogens. Everybody is. Everybody is going to get sick eventually. It's going to happen because this planet is planet darkness. We are pathogens are everywhere. Pathogens are just being released constantly. That's why we protect ourselves so that they don't take us down again because we've been taken down by them. And you're not detoxing, man. It's viral. Sometimes there are detox symptoms. Sometimes we feel like we do detox. That's I'm not saying that that's never detox, but the person I'm referring to is not detoxing. He's viral. He's viral. Okay. So again, when somebody's talking about they've done the information to a T, it's like be your own detective because there's always more we can do. There's always new levels we can take it to. And I think people think that they can heal in like a month. They're like, oh, I'll heal in a month. I'll never have a symptom again. And I think also that people think healing means they'll never have a symptom again. And it's like, oh no, we are on planet darkness. You might have symptoms again, even after you heal, because heavy metals all in our environment, pathogens all in our environment and we can get exposed anytime, anywhere, even if we never leave our houses, because if we never leave our houses, that means packages have to come in. Somebody got to be bringing food in. Somebody got to be bringing other stuff in the house for us. There's going to be some kind of contact with the outside world, unless you're like way off grid somewhere and you're growing all your own food and you're a hermit and you never have any outside anything come in, that's probably your only shot. And even then, you still got chemtrails falling out of the sky. You still got jet fuel falling out of the sky. You still got radiation falling out of the sky. You're still exposed. There's still nanotechnology falling out of the sky. You're still exposed. And that's not to, don't be scared about any of that. It's the thing, that's what the tools are for, is to protect ourselves. It's to protect ourselves so we can rise above it, right? We rise above it. We heal, we rise above it. We keep using the tools to heal and we keep rising above it. And yeah, I guess there's a point at which a lot of people are like, okay, I can just turn away from this information now and go off and do my thing. But I've seen people do that and that guess where they end up? Back here in the community. They come back. Because they realize like, oh, if I start eating all the foods that feed pathogens again, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to get symptoms and I'm going to get sick again. Because that is what happens. That's what they do. What They get sick again. And it's not a criticism because people have their own journey. They have their own path. And sometimes I think it's important that like we discover things on our own because it it's like it hammers the information home and then we really understand it, you know? And that's important. The details matter. You see, I hope I'm illustrating that point. <laughs> the details matter. So I just wanted to talk about it because the chronically ill people are my people. This is my community. I feel very protective of my people. I'm very mama bear for my people. Medical medium is my people because he is our champion and he protects us and he looks out for us. He knows all of us. If you think he doesn't know who you are, he knows who you are because spirit of compassion is in his ear telling him who you are. He knows us. He knows who we are. He looks out for us. He thinks about us. He loves us. He's out there championing us, really championing us, taking care of us. That means so much to me. It means so much to me. And so, yeah, 
I'm fiercely protective of him. I'm fiercely protective of the information. I don't, I get really upset when I see people taking it and like part and parceling it and taking it out there and like basically ripping it apart to distribute it in a way that they feel is better. And I'm like, oh, okay. Sorry, but this is where I get a little sarcastic. I'm like, oh, okay, you think you know better than Spirit of Compassion who sits at the right hand of God how to distribute the information for people to heal? First of all, it's copywritten information. It's not yours to decide about legally. And secondly, really? So you're above God now? Okay, I don't think any of us are above God. That's just me. What do I know? I guess everybody has their own path to go down to learn, but all these groups I see out there using the medical medium name, oh, I'm the medical medium this group, I'm the medical medium that group, we're medical medium this, we're medical medium that. Look, I get sometimes good intentions and all, the road to hell is paved with. Uh, <laughs> I get sometimes like people just want to be like, well, how else am I going to tell people what I'm doing? I don't know. I bet you could figure it out though. I bet you could figure out another way to get the message across for what you want to do and what you mean and what you're trying to represent without saying, I am medical medium this. I bet you could. I bet if you think about it, you could. I know you could. Think of some of the things he's talked about. You know, think of some of the healing tools. Think of some things. Think of some other way, you know, to say. If you really want to do right by him, then, and you really want to do right by God, what I think, then do your best to do right. And don't make it about you. I think when we make it about us is when the problems arise. When we make it about money, when money becomes more important to us and our status and our standing and and what people think of us and all that stuff when that becomes more important than the health of the chronically ill i think that's when it becomes a problem and that's what i see i see a lot of times where that's the issue where it's like but i want to be the person who answers the questions but i want to be i want to be who the people go to for the information i want to show that like i want to be the guru i want to lead women i want it to be me I want to elevate myself to guru status. I want to be that guy, you know? I think that becomes a problem because it's ego driven. It's about this world and what you can get out of it. And it's not about how can I serve God and how can I serve the chronically ill and how can I serve the community and how can I help? And I'm not saying everybody has to think like, how can I serve other people? But do you see the difference? Like, are you really trying to help people heal? Or are you really trying to help yourself? I know for my own self, I stumble all the time. I'm not always right. <laughs> I get hot headed. I get passionate, as my friend called it you're passionate. I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm scrappy. And I got a mama bear inside me that is so fiercely protective of this community and so fiercely, fiercely protective of medical medium that sometimes I'm like, you know, sometimes I mistake humans for trolls. And sometimes I mistake trolls for humans. <laughs> uh, and I can get fighty when I shouldn't be fighty. And, you know, I stumble. I stumble. And I pray every day to just help be guided to do the best I can do for people. And I'm sure I've screwed up a bunch of times. I know I've screwed up a bunch of times. You know, I know I have. I've gotten things wrong. I've made videos about that. I had some information wrong. And it's interesting because I got that information from a practitioner who was supposed to be like, ah... But that's how I learn. I am hard-headed and I learn the hard way, right? But, um, so I'm not, I just want to be clear. Like, I'm not saying like, <laughs> you know, let he was up without sin, cast the first stone or 
people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones or whatever. Like, yeah, no, I'm not without, I've messed up a bunch of times. I try to be aware of it. I hope, you know, it's like when people bring my attention to it and I see it, I try to do better and I hope that I make it right or try to make it right or try to do better. And that's all I think we can all hope for. It's just, you know, that we try to do better and we try to make it right and we try to do our best to live our purpose and for and for the greater purpose, you know? And it is a spiritual war out there. And this community is like, we are on the same team, right? But we want to be on the same team. But so like, let's really get on the same team and like work for God and work for healing and not work for ourselves. Again, not trying to preach. I'm not trying to preach. I'm not trying to preach. This is just me and how I feel about things. And I don't begrudge anyone making a living. I know people need to make a living, but I definitely think there's a way to do it ethically. And I think there's a way to do it without taking advantage of people. And I think there's a way to do it while still living the truth, not your truth, because there's a difference because your truth, I'm living my truth. That's just my opinion. That's what I think. That's my beliefs. That's not the truth. The truth is there. You know, the truth comes from above. It doesn't come from us. You know, we can work for it and through it and we can try to embody it and live it and do our best to support it and, and serve it. But it's not man-made is what I'm trying to say. It's not man-made. It's not man-made. <laughs> All right. The details matter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was of use to somebody. If you like this video, give a thumbs up below. <laughs> you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button over there. You can ding the bell next to it if you want to be notified when I post new videos. I love you, my healers and health seekers. I wish you so many blessings on your continued healing journey. Always read the books. Stay curious. The details matter. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>